So Chelsea are going back in for Jao Felix after he was on loan six for six months a couple of years ago. And today in this video, we're going to see why. He is clearly a huge talent. Atletico Madrid paid a lot of money for him for a very good reason. And that is because he impressed so much Benfica. He's so good with his feet. He gets some good opportunities. And I'm hoping there's some highlights from his Benfica days. There's going to be some from the Chelsea days where he, he, didn't, he didn't score too many. Maybe statistically he wasn't too impressive but from the eye test oh my word just look at his footwork there for Barcelona there's another one on Chelsea cut back he would have got an assist if Kai Havertz was actually a good footballer he's, he's quick his ball control is insane imagine this guy so he was playing on the Graham Potter at Chelsea good good little finish and he's playing alongside it, it, oh that was really insane to be fair he's playing alongside like Kai Havertz there's a team of it might have been there. I can't remember. Goal for Barcelona there. So he was playing under Graham Potter in the mess that was Chelsea for that six months. He got dropped in at the deep end in the January transfer window with all of those other signings. Azo Fernandez, McCollum Madrick, Benoit Baliashil. It was a mess. There he's assisting Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's clear to see his talent. He, he's, he's so good with the ball at his feet. So trick, like tricky. He's a tricky winner, but he's versatile. He can play in that number 10 position. Though Nkunku and Drewsbury Hall played against Inter Milan. Nkunku has been playing in pre-season. I remember. <laughs> Look at that finish. He's done it for Chelsea in a mess of a team. Under a mess of a system. If we can get him for £40 million... Pounds, in an Enzo Maresca system where he will improve players. There you go, another goal. Enzo Fernandez linking up with him. He scored goals. He scored four goals, I think, for Chelsea. In 16 games, he was used as a sub under Frank Lampard. And I, I rem look at that finish. He just needs a bit of a run of games. He needs someone to believe in him. He's apparently a bit of a, a diva. That's why he fell out with Diego Simeone at... At Atletico Madrid, but he's 24 years old now. He's older, more experienced, but still young. Look at that finish. He is a top tier footballer. And th there's, there's a reason why Atletico Madrid played, paid so much money for him. Because he, Look at these finishes. This is playing for Barcelona, Broca Lone FC. And I know they came second in La Liga in the end. But with their management, they he's had a stinky few years with managers. Diego Simeone hates him. He was playing under Graham Potter and Frank Lampard at Chelsea. Xavi Hernandez at Barcelona, good manager. He said he wants to leave. Then he says he's going to stay. Then he gets sacked. I completely missed that bicycle kick. I completely missed that bicycle kick. We're going to have to go back for that. Because, oh my God. I wasn't watching properly. He's got a tap in there. In the right position. His stats are good. If you haven't already, go and watch my video from earlier. On why Xavi Felix is a game changer for Chelsea. Yeah, casual little bicycle kick. Casual little bicycle kick. He is so technically gifted. Came off the shin. He is so technically gifted, Jao Felix. Oh my word. Look at this footwork. Trickery wins a foul. You can see he tried so hard at Chelsea. And I, I remember seeing a report that Jao Felix, Jao Felix and Omari Hutchinson, who is now gone, but another great tricky winger, they were both running rings around people in training. And every, uh, like the, the owners liked him. They wanted to sign him. According to Fabrizio Romano, they wanted to sign him permanently or get him on another loan. But it was Mauricio Pochettino that said he didn't want Jao Felix. Which, maybe it, he wouldn't fit in, into the team. He wanted Madrid and Sterling on the left. He wanted Palmer down the middle. Didn't want Jao Felix. But under Enzo Maresca, he could unlock the Jao Felix that people thought Atletico Madrid were getting when he was 19 years old. He scored 20 goals at the age of 19 for Benfica's first team in his debut season. He's a good finisher. He's a good finisher. You can see that he tries hard. You can see that he's technically gifted. He does nothing wrong on a football pitch. Absolutely nothing. And he needs a good, a good team around him. So, he needs a good team around him to be good. Look at that finish. Look. That's playing with <laughs> David Dutro Fofana. Where is he running? Imagine he's playing with the likes of Victor Osman, Pedro Neto, who he knows from the Portuguese national team, Cole Palmer, Christopher Nkunku. Now you might ask where he fits into the team. 
I don't think he's a priority. He's not an out and out striker, which is what Chelsea are after. After the Samuel Mordorian deal collapse, he's got to square it there. Oh, he didn't, but he still scores. Probably should have squared it. Was that Mark? Oh, that's the Mark Yu goal. Where's Joel Felix in? <laughs> oh, is he putting the balls on the box? Oh my goodness, what a ball. Imagine Victor Ozerman. He's so good with, the, with his head. Linking up with Joel Felix. Joel Felix doing little flicks with Cole Palmer. <laughs> Pedro Neto. Little one-twos like that. Oh, we would cook. And then Nkunku. You drop Nkunku. So, for his position. Don't know how much longer is left. Not too long. For his position, he's not an out-and-out striker. He can play in the left wing. Definitely. But we do have Madrid, who I still believe in. Sterling. There's reports that he could leave as Joel Felix joins, which I wouldn't hate. Apparently he's good he's good in the back in the dressing room, but he is experienced and I do I did think that he would be good under Enzo Moresca, system player. Um so he can play on the left hand side. And now we, we just signed Pedro Neto, who's primarily a left footed left winger. But he could play on the right, Pedro Neto. Joel Felix is could play on the left wing and be great. He could play up front, he could be as a striker, dropping in deep, doing this, dribbling. But I think where the, the Nkunku role that Enzo Moresco has kind of created during preseason could suit him down to an absolute T. Let me know what you think. He would be on cheap wages. He's apparently going to drop his wages to something. He's agreed the deal to Chelsea. He wants to move. Jorge Mendes is in London. They're trying to complete the move right now. Atletico Madrid want to sell him for £40 million. Chelsea may just accept that because it's a great deal. So let me know what you think. Comment your thoughts. I think this could be, it could it could do wonders for Chelsea. You look at the depth that Man City have in that attack. They had De Bruyne, Foden, uh, Julian Alvarez last season, all behind the big striker Nozman. Now the semi Omodoran deal is off. We will sign a striker. I, I did see another report saying that Chelsea aren't just focusing on Ozerman and they believe that other opportunities for strikers could arise. I don't know who else that would be. Have we been linked to any other strikers other than Omarodian and Victor Ozerman? I guess maybe John Duran, but John Duran is not on the same level as Victor Ozerman. And Victor Ozerman finishing these chances could be absolutely incredible. Um, yes, go and check out my video from earlier. Like I said, I went through uh, a lineup maker, build with a back three, have a deep player in the diamond in Lavia or Caicedo. And then the inverting fullback into midfield was Gusto next to Enzo Fernandez. And then at the tip of the diamond is a number 10. Palmer could do that, but I think he's probably more suited to the right hand side of this formation under Enzo Moresco. Xiao Felix there, or Nkunku there. They could rotate. We're going to have a lot of games. We've got Conference League. We're going to hopefully go deep in the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup. And then we've got the Club World Cup at the end of the season. It's going to be a lot of games. And signing Xiao Felix permanently could be such a great move. So let me know what you think below. Comment your thoughts, like and subscribe. See you later.